Today we're out here in the village of Elida with Pastor Russ Thomas and more than a pastor. You guys are very, very, for in the middle of a quarantine, you are extremely busy out here in the little village of Elida. Yeah. What's going on? So, uh, um, you know, we're, we've kind of followed the trade of everyone else where we're not having gatherings anymore. Right. We're doing everything over social media, our Sunday morning 9 a.m. service, our Saturday night 4.30 service, and our Thursday night 7 p.m. service. Um, so those the, are all on Facebook, and that's where they're going to find them? Yeah, the, yeah. it's called Gathering, Gathering Place. Okay, hmm. all right. So then we've also just recently had a bus donated from WOCAP, Jackie Fox, and um, it was going to be used for a homeless ministry. We've been doing mm -hmm. this for about four years now, going right. out at night and finding the chronically homeless in the woods and places like that. And this bus was going to be used as a mobile office to help them connect right. to social services. How does that all fit in with what we got right going right now with the quarantine thing? I mean, you got people all over the county that have no place to go. Well, the traditional homeless ministry, as we were going to do it, is kind of suspended right now because mm -hmm. uh, the bus is being recruited. I'll be driving it to um, take folks who either are homeless or they can't return back to their home mm -hmm. who aren't necessarily positive but they've been exposed to someone and need to be quarantined 14 days. So I'll be using that bus to transport those folks to the location right. yet to be determined um, for quarantine. So what's happening with homeless families right now that uh, they really can't find any place to quarantine? Yeah, and we're, we're connected really close with all the shelters. I, I was a former director of Family Promise, mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm yeah. still connected with all the shelters, and, and they're all full or they're very hesitant right now to bring a new set of families or a mm -hmm. new individual in. So uh, I know the Lima Rescue Mission just yesterday, we had a conversation with Chuck and he had to break down his bunk beds into singles and divide them at six feet. Yeah. And so he went from 20 a night to 14 a night. So last night he had to turn six people away. Oh, that's a big change. Big yeah, change. so the, the homelessness is increasing. This morning alone, I just met with two people that are new in the street, so. Wow, so what's, what's happening right now? What's the plan as this thing works forward through, I mean, government assistance and, and government involvement, what's, what's the plan? Um, we've been meeting daily and um, it's amazing the, the, the entities in this town that have come together to, to help solve this thing, but we're moving forward, making decisions. There's not a lot set in stone, but we're really on the cusp of making that final mm -hmm. decision of what to do. Um, there's a lot of good negotiations that have to happen, but uh, the city of Lima and the county itself have really been coming together to fix this thing. And I know a lot in the community haven't heard about it, but right. their hands are so busy they can't even toot their own horn. Yeah. So they're getting it done, though.